To view company information navigate to set up search company information in the quick find box. This page shows all critical information about your organization, including your company name, the primary contact user. This may be an administrator or the billing point of contact for your company. The company address, phone and fax details. The other important fields are fiscal year that denotes the month and year of the company's fiscal year. The value is custom fiscal year if a custom fiscal year has been set up by the administrator. The next checkbox denotes if automatic data translations are enabled so that users can view and edit data in different languages. The next few checkboxes contain information about newsletters and notifications if users or admins should receive Salesforce newsletters and if they should receive log and notifications about system maintenance and downtime. Further, the locale settings determine the default locale, language, and the time zone default locale specifies the default currency or geography that is selected for all the new users that are created in Salesforce. This setting determines the format of date, times, and names that the user sees in Salesforce. Individually, users can set their personal locale, which overrides the organization level settings. Companies that observe daylight saving can select improved date value accuracy to let Salesforce adjust the time zone settings automatically. Next is the corporate currency. It is the currency in which the organization's corporate headquarters report revenue. The next few fields contain information about data storage and file storage. Clicking view against any of these two fields will tell you how the data storage is distributed amongst various objects and the users who are utilizing the data storage space the most. Next, the total number of API requests and streaming API events used by the organization are captured in these two fields. The maximum number of requests or events depend on your Salesforce edition. The number of restricted logged in users who have logged in during the current month are captured in this particular field. The value resets to zero at the beginning of every month. Next is the Salesforce org ID. It is a 15-character unique identifier for each Salesforce instance. The ID is unique even for sandboxes created from the same production instance the organization ID is required while contacting Salesforce for support, billing or feature activations. Next is the information about your Salesforce org's edition like Enterprise Unlimited or Developer Edition and where your instance is located. This page also contains information about user licenses, permission set licenses, feature set licenses, and usage base entitlements. The user licenses determine the baseline of functionalities that users can access. Each user will need to be assigned exactly one user license. The permission set licenses allow administrators to assign additional settings and permissions to users that are not part of their user licenses. A user can be assigned any number of permission set licenses. The feature set licenses allows users to access additional features like service cloud marketing, knowledge, etc. That may not have been part of the user's license, like permission set licenses, any number of features at licenses can be assigned to a user. Next come the usage wages based entitlements, these are used to limit resources that can be used by users in a specific time frame. For example, the number of monthly logins allowed into the partner community let's take a look at a user record to understand where these licenses are assigned. The user license is assigned to Mike Murphy, as you can see in this case is Salesforce. A few features at licenses like marketing, offline user knowledge user, and service cloud user have also been assigned to this particular user. If we scroll down and navigate to the related section, we will be able to see permission set license assignments, the administrators can click on edit assignments and choose one of the available permission sets licenses and assign it to the user.